says, We have five Great Lakes. We don't need five. I am okay if we give you one of them. Certainly Lake Superior should fill your needs. Build a pipeline. It's a tempting idea. Moving Great Lakes water west by pipeline has been studied for decades, and every study shows the same thing. It's technically possible, but economically and politically unworkable. First, the scale is massive. To move just 1 million acre feet of water, a fraction of what the Colorado River provides, you would need a pipeline longer than the Trans-Alaska Oil Pipeline, with enormous pumping stations to lift water over the Continental Divide. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has estimated that projects of this scale would cost tens to hundreds of billions of dollars and consume huge amounts of energy. Second, there are legal barriers. The Great Lakes Compact of 2008, signed by the eight U.S. states bordering the lakes and ratified by Congress, explicitly bans most diversions of Great Lakes water outside the basin. Finally, the lakes themselves aren't endless. The U.S. Geological Survey reports that Great Lakes levels fluctuate due to climate change, evaporation, and changing precipitation. In fact, both record lows and